What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mav where we do everything outdoors. Today, today I'm on the beach. Well, I guess tonight I'm on the beach. Tonight we're going to be going uh, razor clamming. I've never done this before. Um, I've actually never even cooked or had clam that I can remember. Yeah, I think that's right. So by the end of this episode, I'm going to be doing a catch and cook. If you guys remember the video that I posted before this, doing crabbing, um, I said that I was going to post a razor clamming video. And if you're seeing this video now, that means that I had success. So right now I'm in Washington. The limit's 15 a person. So we're going to find 15 clams, put them in our bags, and I'm going to bring them back to my truck and cook them up. So I'm going to show you how we're going to harvest these clams first. And then, uh, yeah, we're just going to have at it. All right, so as you may or may not be able to tell right now, it is very foggy out. Um, we're actually, whoa! We're actually gonna leave the lights in the truck on so we uh, don't get lost, but what just fell out of the truck is a clam gun. This is a clam shovel. Clint, you wanna show us how you use a clam shovel? Because I have no You have no idea? idea? Uh -uh. All right, so really quick, there's a little hole here on the bottom, a little vent hole. Okay. And all you're going to do is you're just going to go up, we're going to stomp around, or a lot of times you can just dig a hole, and once you dig a hole, the other ones will show. And what we'll look for on the ground is a little dimple. Um, they'll be breathing or okay. spitting stuff out, we'll look for a dimple. Let's take your clam gun in. It's going to be really hard here because it's so packed. Twist it around, basically get it down as far as you can, then put your finger over the, the air hole, lift it up, and pull it out and drop it out. You'll kick it over. There should be a clam in there when we're all done. Oh yeah, just gotta put this on. So this is our uh, this is our clam net. So you're supposed to keep your limits on you at all times. So we got these little uh, handy clam nets. All right. All right, man. Let's do this. Let's get her done. So I don't have my waders on right now. So we're just kind of we're gonna avoid the water at all costs. That's like a really small dimple, so that'll probably be a really small razor clam. I'm surprised anybody else would drive down the beach this morning. I know, right? That's a dark son of a The well, fog doesn't help, the, that's for sure. The fog oh, definitely doesn't all help. All you gotta do is listen for the beach. Listen yeah. for You've the been water, some big ones? you turn in and put your headlights on the water every once in a while. Just keep going up. Yeah. There's one right there. Get that one? Huh? Yeah, here. Yeah, you do the honors. You want to go for it? Yeah, I don't I'll care. I've, I've, been, I've thrown away probably 30 of them already. Oh, really? Uh, watch. Don't see that one? There's one right there. Yep. As soon as you dig a hole, they'll show up. There it is. There it is, yep. Yeah. That's a tiny one. Oh, it is? Yeah, that's a bigger one. Any of All right. Yeah, you, here, you take this camera. So kind of at a little bit of an angle towards oh, the towards the ocean, yeah. Towards the ocean, that's where they're going. They're going right there too. Did I get them? Yeah, yep. you got them. That's my first one. First one ever. Look at that. It's a little dude. Yeah. You can keep them, or you can. We'll keep them. Another one I'll there. See, one. as soon as you start digging, they show up. There's yeah. another one right there. Should I take this one too. Yeah. Just keep going. Yep. Just go for it. Bang her out. Yeah. How big are these ones? Do you think? Wednesday, we were right here. So if he's not there, usually take a second scoop really okay. quick. There he is. Holy cow! Look at that thing. So that's what we're going after. That's a razor clam. I think that's probably about a three incher, three and a half incher, but yeah, three, three and a half. A little tongue on them. Sweet, cool. Mm -hmm. There he is, just a little guy. He had a big dimple. I know. Right when we scoop one out, we're looking for one's showing themselves next to it. Um, once you do take a clam out of the sand, you're not supposed to release it like that guy just did. It's really not legal here in Washington. So I actually ended up just taking that clam from them because apparently they can't rebury themselves very well. So every clam that we dig up today, we are gonna keep. Yep. 
go ahead and give her a go. Oh, there it is. Oh, I almost stepped on it. Little guy. Wait, what the heck? Oh, there was two. two. All right, well, you got to keep them. What's that? Pretty crazy, isn't it? Yeah, there's lots of little guys. Actually, they taste better. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. There you go. A nice satchel. Oh, he's down there. Oh. <laughs> he's sticking his tongue up at me. Now is that a, oh wow. Yeah. That's a big one, huh? That's what we're talking about. Is that what we're looking for? There's one right in front of me too, you see that? Yeah. They're all over. Thanks. Okay. Am I going crazy? There was a dimple oh, there, wasn't there? there? You saw that one there too, didn't you, Clint? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There he is. Well, that's a one. He's not super bad. Little dude. That was a good one. That was a little dimple. Holy. Look at that one. Nice. Hey. It's like the biggest one all night. Right there. That's number 15, ladies and gentlemen. The last one. That's probably the fastest I've ever been able to harvest some meat, so now Clint's gonna grab his and uh, fry these up in the back of the truck. There we go. There's two, there's gonna be one right here too. Nice. Sweet. I think there's one right here, yeah. There's another one. Nice. That's so crazy. I'm not throwing them back, I'll keep them. I just want to see. They're going to dig themselves back home. Oh wow, yeah, look at. See him go? Let's see how fast he can get down there. <laughs> see that? Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Nice. All right, man. Well, here's your final prize. Woohoo! Just a little dude, but little dude, it'll work. Well, there you go. Well, Clint, thanks Two for coming out. Dude. Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna cook these things up now. Let's do it. All right, folks. So it is a new day. Uh, I dropped Clint off last night, and I did not realize that it was a two and a half hour drive. So definitely not back at the beach. But it's kind of important that I did that because. So the clams get rid of all the sediment that's in them when you uh, leave them in salt water overnight. So I'm going to get these things cleaned up. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. And then I'm going to cook them. I'm really excited to do this. Uh, I've had clam strips before, but this is my first time actually cooking clams. So we're going to see how it tastes. Um, yes, my truck is running right now. I am charging up some batteries on the inside. Don't want my battery to die. So uh, sorry for the noise. All right, when I was talking about sediment, I wasn't lying. So that water was clear when I uh, when I put the clams in there, and that's two limits of clams, so about, that's 30 clams right there. That's how much sand you can expect from 30 clams. All right. Well, I've been blessed. Oh, that's not good. That's the second time I've done that. I really need, you really think that I learned my lesson. That's why I can't have nice things. All right, let's try that again, shall we? 
Uh, Clint ended up not wanting any. He doesn't like to eat them. He likes to use them as crab bait, but he said that I could have his limit, um, which is awesome because I'm gonna prepare them two different ways. Today, I'm only gonna prepare them one way, but later on this week, I think I might try to make some homemade clam chowder, so stay tuned for that episode. If I'm being honest, I just learned this off of YouTube. I'm by no means an expert, but if you look at this clam right here, you can see it's got this kind of like mouth zipper looking thing right here. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna run it up that. And I'm gonna go into this big thing here. I forget what these are called. Oh, the siphon, that's what it's called. They have two siphons, so I'm gonna run this through both siphons. And normally this is where you'd see the sand, but since these clams were left out overnight in salt water, they don't have any sand. I'm gonna run my fingers along the edges here just to peel it back from the from the shell. Now be careful when you're doing this because they are named razor clams for a reason. If you have some like I do that have cracked shells or broken shells from an old man poacher stomping on them, um, be extra careful. Now in the back there, there's a mussel that is holding the clam shell together. I'm just kind of trying to pry that apart without brutally breaking the shell. Um, if anybody knows anyone that makes a flat surface for the back of a 2011 F-150, not 2015, a 2011 F-150, let me know or know anywhere in Minnesota where I could get a, uh, a thing made because I really want to get this whole back section made in a, in a cutting board material, but I'm having a tough time with that. The only stuff that I want to keep is the white stuff. I don't want anything brown. This is about the time where I wish I had running water so I could wash this meat easily. All right, and there I got a nice big white chunk of clam meat. I'm gonna cut off the uh, top of the siphon there. And yeah. All right, and you guys get the pleasure of having fast forward. I don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the rest of these 29 clams. All right, one bag down, only one bag. Oh, to go. Oh my, there is trash pandas in the tree, staring right at me. That's not good. It's kind of spooky actually. All I can see is eyes. Here, let's see if you guys can see them. Uh, maybe not. See their eyes glowing there? Maybe a little bit. Yeah, well. The Rackins. They're gonna have a smorgasbord today. All right, well, I can't really tell if my headlamp's on or not. Sorry if it is, but clams are all cleaned. Got about a full bowl there. It's all 30 of them. Um, I did have to throw two out because they were so smashed to the point where I couldn't clean them. Um, and they were really little. They were like, yay big and I think that old man was throwing those ones out and I just picked them up um, so two got wasted that's okay I think I ended up picking like 10 up from him so uh, yeah 30 clams cleaned up um, I'm gonna find a new spot to fry these things up because this spots actually kind of creepy like top 10 creepiest spots that I've been to so I'm gonna find a new spot to fry these up um, where there's not raccoons around my butt and uh, yeah gonna have some Those bugs really aren't sticking very well. Okay, let's turn it on. So take a look at these. That looks like a clam strip that I remember when I was a kid. Yeah, dude. 
tastes almost identical. I'll tell you what, I used to love clam strips as a kid. Like, I used to love them. Every time we go out, this one crab shack called uh, Joe's Crab Shack. I don't know if it's like a Midwest thing or not. Shout out if you guys have been to Joe's Crab Shack, but... We used to always, always, always get the clam strips. It came in like a big cone. All right, well, my camera just so conveniently died on me in the middle of recording that last segment, so I don't really know what you guys got to see. Wrong. Just gonna leave that for the coyotes. Oh yeah, there's coyotes over there, by the way. I don't, I really don't know when this camera died, so like, there was coyotes yelping like 100 yards that way, wait. I probably sound crazy on camera, but you can barely hear some coyotes. Well, yeah, I don't know where they went. Um, I wanna get out of here though. I was cooking up some clams and there was coyotes like barking like 100 yards away, so that's kinda of sketchy. Um, I'm gonna get cleaned up. Um, but I, I'm gonna fry these again and try to perfect them. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make a video about it, but I am gonna make a video about making some clam chowder. Um, I'm gonna make some homemade clam chowder, so if you guys wanna see that, stay tuned and uh, stay pinned to the channel because that's gonna be coming up in the next couple weeks. Um, I guess I don't really have anything else to say. I really appreciate you guys tuning in on this episode. I really appreciate Clint for taking me out and showing me how to razor clam hunt, fish, scavenge, I don't know. Um, if you guys have a chance to do something like that or know somebody that can take you out, definitely go take advantage of it. It's not very hard. Um, just go during low tide and look for those little dimples. Until next time, my name's Maverick, and you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.